David E. Talbot grew up on popular family classics like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang 1968, and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory 1971. There's only one, he'll tell you about the latter, throwing a cool breeze of shade on the much maligned 2005 Johnny Depp remake. The playwright and filmmaker didn't have much luck, though, passing his favorites on to his young son. Talbot, who is African-American, recalls with humored nostalgia showing his four-year-old the Dick Van Dyke starring Chitty Chitty Bang Bang for the first time. I couldn't wait to share it with him. I thought he was old enough, so we sat down with the popcorn, Talbot tells Yahoo Entertainment in a new interview, watch above. Talbot was singing along, attempting to engage his son, who was just not feeling it. He walks away, and I look at him, and I look at the screen and I'm like, oh. Wow. He's got Miles Morales, the young black and Puerto Rican hero of the animated hit Spider-Man, into the Spider-Verse, on his wall and he probably looked at his big black father like, why is he singing the whitest song ever? That's when it hit me, if he was feeling that way, how many parents around the world, and how many children of color around the world, want to see a film represent them. The revelation was a driving force in inspiring the director to write his long gestating idea for a play, what would ultimately become Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey, as a movie instead. The resulting film, Netflix's first original live-action holiday musical, stars Forrest Whitaker as the titular struggling toymaker who must save his business from doom with the help of his precocious estranged granddaughter, newcomer Madeleine Mills. The project's multicultural cast also features Keegan-Michael Key, Annika Nonny Rose, Phylisha Richard, Ricky Martin and Hugh Bonneville. The musical's eclectic, toe-tapping original songs were written by John Legend and Bruno Mars hitmaker Philip Lawrence. Some of the casting directors in the UK, they brought me only black people. I said, you know, this isn't Wakanda, referencing the African country in Black Panther. I said, this is an international world. They said, oh, I thought you were making a black movie. I said, what about it is black? It's a movie, and I wanted everyone to have a seat at the table. And so I intentionally had Asian representation, Indian representation, Latin representation, white representation. Everyone was dancing in the town square as all cultures, because that's what the world is. The efforts of the director and his producer wife Lynn Sisson Talbot are paying massive dividends, with early reviews hyping the film as one that could play over Christmases for generations. The magical musical Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey is a new holiday classic, reads the headline for the Los Angeles Times Review. Netflix gifts the world an overstuffed and delightful Christmas classic, says IndieWire. My wife and I have been working on this for 22 years, and it's pretty surreal, says Talbot, whose previous film credits include First Sunday 2008 Baggage Claim 2013 and Almost Christmas 2016. Talking to you is a blessing, and reading these reviews, my agent is sending them in. It's like, whoa, but the intention was to put some joy out into the world. and some inclusive joy, and that everybody in the world could be a part of and celebrate. That includes Talbot's son, who in a moment of life-predicting art, helped save his dad's Christmas. Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey is currently streaming on Netflix.
Video produced by John San and edited by John Santo Donald Trump forced his way into Home Alone 2, and audiences ate it up Vince Vaughn explains how he played a teenage girl in New Body Swapping Horror Comedy Freaky.